Hi guys, a great end of the week and a new one is coming. Yes, survived uh, Panka Marga. I'm getting really, really good feedback, which is very exciting because, yeah. you know, the people who weren't able to come to the reception uh, may come by this week and, and hopefully keep buying and, and show their interest in the, in the collection. It's, how many, I'm really stoked. How many pieces do you have left? I, I have uh, nine pieces left. I've sold uh, over half the collection. And uh, yay! And we'll see. And, and, and I think it's gotten a lot of notice. Uh, so that, that's really been positive. I'm hearing from people I haven't talked to in years. <laughs> I'm so glad. Now is my time to put some effort into my artwork this week. Yeah, if, in fact, actually getting back to doing some, some new work will be, will be great. Now we've got a... Uh, not a lot planned this week. We've got a photo shoot with um, Kendall Holmes, a real estate shoot, and I've got some meetings planned in the middle of the week. And precious, oh, we have open Saturday, uh, the third Saturday of the month. And so, other than that, I think we're just going to kind of put ourselves back together after a crazy, crazy time. Yeah, I have actually one piece that needs to be finished and framed. Uh, hopefully, I will be able to. To do that this week excellent excellent well yeah great we should have hopefully have some time but before we start in the week mm -hmm. uh, if you guys like what you see follow us like us and get that notification button going on it really helps us with the algorithm if you do so we'd really appreciate it and uh, let's go see what this week brings let's start the week hi I'm John and this is Bogdan Join us on our journey as we figure out how to earn a living as artists, introduce you to those we meet, and share what we learn along the way. Oh, it's Sunday afternoon. Uh, I, uh, the only day I can catch up with the house and clean it up and do the laundries and everything else. And uh, it's now, what, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and I want to go to a uh, bike ride. So uh, I'm planning to do a 10 miles um, a road trip. So come with me in this journey. It's time again to make a trip to the framer to <clears throat> choose something appropriate for um, that sculptural piece I put together last week or two weeks ago. <clears throat> I can't have it on the floating around the studio because uh, uh, I start to move stuff around and I they, they get damaged very easy. So I have to complete this um, project. I'm just gonna go and try different looks to see which one will um, complement this work. So saying that, let's go!
All right, everything is packed, everything is loaded in the car, and I got some beautiful framings. I can't wait to uh, mount them and uh, put them on the wall. And uh, by this Saturday, which is a uh, third Saturday, which means is a open Saturday at Silver Street Studios, you can come and um, admire uh, this uh, new work uh, I've been working on. So, back to the studio. Good morning everybody. In addition to the work that we do with fine art, we also do some real estate photography as well. So we're here this morning in the lovely sunshine uh, doing a shoot for uh, Kindle Homes. Uh, what you meant to say, not everything we do is pretty. Not everything we do, it's well these are pretty too. They just don't look good in a frame. And we'll show you what we're up to. Hey guys, back from the real estate shoot. Uh, we just drove back from, we went to Willis, Texas and to Cleveland, Texas to do a shoot for Kendall Holmes. I really enjoy doing uh, these kind of real estate shoots uh, because it gets us out of the studio and, and we wouldn't go these places any other reason. But we're back in the studio. I've got lots to do. I have to catch up on all the receipts that I've been ignoring since I started putting together Panca Barga. What are you up today? Oh, I'm gonna put these pictures together that I just took. It mm -hmm. takes me quite a while to to batch them together and to <clears throat> make them pretty. Mm -hmm. And then, if there is any time left, I wanna finish one of those uh, sculptural pieces I uh, been dealing with for uh, some time now. But I'm keep being interrupted by all kinds of other projects. Yeah, well, that's life, right? It's better to be bored. Got the tickets for Guadalajara and the hotel, so we have to go now. Uh -huh. And I got a uh, message right mm -hmm. now from uh, from them asking, the, you know, how many pieces, how large are they, are they frame, are they not, based on those, they will allocate me the right studio in Guadalajara. Another creative day here at the studios. Now I am on my way to help Alessandra Albin to photograph some um, uh, sculptural pieces that she would like to um, submit for a show. And uh, let me show you Alessandra's uh, work. Um, she is a phenomenal artist and she does this um, out of the world sculptures. Hi Alessandra, are you here? Hello. You're gonna be on my vlog, are you okay with that? Yes, of course. What are you working on? I am a chair? working on a chair. No, I'm cleaning up for Saturday and 
area, so I am arranging things in another way. Look at this piece. I just want to say that Alessandra is a phenomenal artist and we we'll all love her. And her, Thank you very much. Her, her pieces are out of this world. So, is this what you're doing all the time? I am doing only, this only... all the time. Now, I am a grandmother, so some days a week I am not here, but if not, I am working from 10 to 5 for sure. Just like me, all the time. All the time. So, let's do this work. Let's photograph this artwork. You're going to enter for the Visual Art Alliance yes, Open Call. Yes, of course. I am going to be there. I will too. So let's do this. Good. And we're done. Thank you very much. I'm going to put this uh, um, together for you and I'll send it to you by email. Thank you very much. It's the middle of the week and it's official. I just finished another sculptural piece, another sculptural photography, how I like to call it. And uh, Sacrum Aquas is ready and I'm really, really pleased with the result. The whole look and the frame are gorgeous. If you guys want to take a closer look, you can come and visit me at my studio here at 111 in Silver Street Studios anytime. I'm here Monday to Friday, 9 o'clock to 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Or you can visit me on every open Saturday, which is first, second and third Saturday at Silver Street. Um, my studio is open. Um, or, of course, you can make a, uh, an appointment with me and come uh, when you like. Hi guys, just wanted to visit a little. I feel like I haven't spoken to you much this week. I've been really crazy busy, but uh, not in, in a horrible way, uh, just kind of grunt work. I have a lot of catching up to do after the exhibition. I've been doing a lot of paying of bills and uh, recording receipts and doing those kinds of, you know, day-to-day -day things of running a small business. And then of course, I had a big meeting today with, um, I, I'm now in charge of the exhibition committee, which is a group of 10 people at the, at the Silver Street Studios. 
who plan all the exhibitions, the tenant exhibitions that, that we have opportunities to, to, uh, to put forward. And so that committee met today and that, that took a, a good chunk of my day. Um, what we found out is that between now and the end of 2020, uh, 2022, we're gonna have an uh, opportunity to do, to do five tenant exhibitions, which is huge. Um, that's a lot, a lot of work and a great opportunity for us to, to learn how to do exhibitions, to curate, uh, and you know, to herd cats when you've got 60 artists in one place. Uh, to, to put on exhibitions like that is, is quite, a, quite a feat and quite a great learning experience for me. So I'm looking forward to that, though it's going to be a lot of work. Um, also getting ready, uh, tomorrow we've got our art chat, uh, so we're going to air that tomorrow. And then I have um, the big interview with Reed Pakistan. This has been one of the most brilliant sessions. Oh, I think you. most of the people are going to learn a lot from this. And it's very important um, that you do stay connected with us. Maybe after some time, whenever you have time, we talk more about books. Uh, we're open again on Saturday for our, uh, our third Saturdays. Uh, opening days. I'm, I'm starting to get emails from people who weren't able to come to the exhibition and so there people are still talking about coming by this weekend and making other appointments to stop by and see the work. So I might sell some more. I was, I was just talking to Bogdan the other day. It seems really strange to me because I worked so hard for the for the last I don't know how long uh, for months to set up a, a, a plan for how to create and to market uh, and, and, and put on this exhibition as well as the reception last weekend. And I feel like all that went really well, probably better than I anticipated. And now it's just like over. I don't have this active plan for what I'm going to do next. Uh, so that's a little strange feeling. And I, I need to do that. I need to find a, a good way to do that. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll come up with something. I don't know what it is yet, but I'll come up with something. Uh, pursuant to that, something did happen yesterday. I got word back from the gallery that's kind of hosting my show on Artsy, which is a great honor. Uh, and I think they didn't really realize how actively I've been working, promoting, and selling this artwork. And so I gave them the list of 20 and I had sold, you know, three or four, but I've sold more and now I've sold 11 out of 20. And I think when they realized that already half their, the show they were sponsoring is gone and that I'm still actively selling these things um, at, at, you know, half the price, and that makes sense because they have to add their commission, their 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 chunk, and as does Artsy, to, so that they can make a living. So all that's very very fair, but I think they didn't realize how actively this was happening, and so they have requested that we just kind of put the Artsy show on hold until August, when my show will be over here in Houston. Because fair enough. They're feeling like, what if they are promoting me in this show and people just bypass them and go and buy it from my website at a lesser price? That makes perfect sense. And I'm, I'm just really impressed that nobody's upset. People just said, hey, listen, we think this would be a better way to go. And everybody has been able to say, you know, that's totally reasonable. Nobody's upset. Nobody has done anything wrong. Uh, but we're all professional enough to realize they need know that I need to be able to have a successful show here in Houston and I realize that they need to be able to to make their margins as well in supporting me on artsy so I just thought that was a really neat a neat occurrence it's kind of disappointing but at the same time I feel really really comfortable with how professionally everybody has has faced this this wrinkle and I think that's a good lesson for for all of us really 
anyway, just wanted to catch up. Uh, I've got to go over and do some more painting. I've started a new series, well, a series of loose, uh, two or three paintings where I'm gonna be working a lot with texture and, and, the, and the color gold. Uh, see what I can come up with. I'm, I'm having some fun with it. And it's been a while since I've been able to have fun painting. Everything was so directed toward the show. Anyway, just wanted to catch up and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. It's the end of the week here and uh, I had a fantastic day. This morning I got an email from someone that had seen my uh, work in the exhibition on the hallway of Silver Steel Studios and um, she was very interested to meet me and see what other work I have in the studio. So by three o'clock she uh, came at the studio and uh, bought two large pieces from um, In Motion collection. I'm very honored, I'm very happy, I'm very humbled at the same time. It was a great, great connection. It's a young family just moved from New York to Houston. They end up with a large home and uh, they love photography. So guess what? More important, it turned out that they have a strong connection with Romania. One of their business offices is in Bucharest and we had a lot of um, uh, chats about Romania and, in Buc and Bucharest. Anyway, it was, it was a great day. Um, I'm so happy to meet such a wonderful people and um, I'm sure they will be back uh, to collect more art or I, I think we will become friends. Um, I like them very much. So tomorrow it's Saturday and we have an open studios and we will be here. I'll have my open uh, my door open as usual from 11 o'clock all the way to 5 in the afternoon. And hopefully tomorrow is gonna be a good day as well. What a week, man. Yep, here we are, it's the end of a week. Wow, what a week, I'm exhausted, but uh, good week. I think uh, I think everything has gone well. We uh, started off, gosh, the rain has been amazing this year. I don't know if it's global warming or what. Oh, but, I'm so uh, sick of it. Gosh, the rain has been, has been forever, biblical. Forever, forever, rain We, we were supposed rain to do a photo shoot on Monday and we couldn't do it Yeah. Uh, until Tuesday because of the rain. And then we did it. And then as soon as we finished, it started raining again, so. But that's over. That worked out. Uh, uh, anyway, so I, I wanted to mention that if last week was John's week in terms of attentions and sales, well, this was my week. Yes, congratulations. Oh my God. Um, out of nowhere, guys, I had these two big clients um, looking for artwork. and They were in photography. Mm -hmm. They randomly came to visit the studios and bumped into my studio and guess what they end up with uh, actually nine pieces of my artwork in two days amazing uh, and i made i paid my rent for the next three months yeah 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 it's been it's been remarkable and again that shows you this is one of those those occasions when actually being at silver street mm -hmm. studios has been very very helpful yeah. because these people found us because we were open and at the studio and actually, um, I, I see a change. Mm -hmm. I see that people are coming back to the studios. People are interested in buying art. Um, 
And I think you find something very interesting about yeah. it as well. I just I just re- just listened to a podcast this morning. There's a new report out uh, on art sales uh, after the pandemic, mm. and uh, they say that the they're unprecedentedly high. The, things are really really going well for art sales, uh, higher than they've been in years. And apparently, they the belief is that people were pent up for the last year and a half, and they have a lot of saved up money, and they want to. They want to spend it, and they want to spend it on art and invest. And in particular, more people are buying lesser-known artists because their prices are better. So hey, hey, that's so good for us. For those one uh, that falls in this category, visit my website bogdanphotoart.com or johnbishopfineart.com, um, or come to visit us in our studios. He is in 108. I mean 111 in Silver Street Studios in Houston. Magnificent. Great. So I mean it was just a, it was a good week. I think uh, uh, we had the the our, we have our open day, our third Saturday open day was today and after all the sales from Pancamarga and from all the sales that you had this week, how many sales did you have today? Zero. Ah, well, I had wait for it, zero. So I think, you know, it's it's life life's way of saying Don't get too cocky. Now, I did have two collectors from the Pancamarga series come by today. Somebody brought another friend to see the work she had bought and to see the collection. And then a friend of mine who's been out of town, uh, she came in and got her certificate and her lapel pin. And then she brought her daughter in. Uh, so hopefully we're, we uh, will still get some, some feedback from that as well. Yes. Yeah. And I manage... I managed to replace all the prints that these ladies bought. Uh, mm-hmm. A huge, huge project because not only I had to print every piece, I had to go to a, an emergency um, visit to the frame shop. Sure. And this guy, uh, uh, John from International Molding in Houston, worked with me. He um, made me, I don't know, seven frames um, that I have to uh, fill it up with artwork, and it's all done. By Friday evening, I had everything back on the wall. Yeah, like like it never happened. <laughs> so good week. What do we have? What are we doing next? Well, next I think we are having. Uh, we are getting a trip to Louisiana. Yes, we I are can... going to see Keith, who is a, um, a a collector who actually bought from us some time ago and then went on holiday. And he's back from holiday, and he said, "Oh, you can ship it." And we said, "You know, it's about a." four or five hour drive, let's just go there. We're just going to drive to, to Louisiana, visit with him and uh, deliver his artwork and uh, hopefully do some photography along the way. Uh, this should be a beautiful time to visit kind of uh, East Texas, uh, Western Louisiana uh, and, and Southern Louisiana as we head to Appaloosa. And now toward the end, I, I just want to tell it to everyone that is in the art business like us, You know, don't lose hope. Yeah. Um, just keep doing what you're doing because um, you will be discovered. And you know, remember to always put something on social media so that you have a presence. Absolutely. Let them know you're there. Absolutely. Anyway. Well, great. Hope you have a great week. Stay creative. We're gonna take you along with us on our journeys. But uh, until then, we're gonna go play with the cat. And and like subscribe and push that notification button right sounds great please okay, do okay guys see you next week bye bye, bye.